Hello everybody, this is Nora, and on this video I am going to show you how I worked with this product. Um, I created uh, somewhat of a, a gem or a jewel here for my nail. I went ahead and cut out a piece, and it is it does it is self-adhesive, so I went ahead and just glued it to my nails, and these are my color-changing chrome nails from my previous video. So after I applied a piece of the shell on my nail, I went ahead and put used some, this is a tacky free gel top coat that I wanted to use for placing the silver micro beads that you'll later see me do, um, do here in the video. But just to talk about a little bit about this, this shell and I, refused to call it a decal even though that's how it is sold i purchased it from born Pretty store i will leave the link below if you're interested they come in different colors but i was under the impression that it was going to be a decal like uh, what we are used to very soft and pliable and easy to use this was not very easy to use okay because it's literally almost like like real shell it is, it's almost like working with a cardboard i was surprised and happy to see that I was able to cut it um, but it could tend to crumble up so you have to be very very careful when you handle it and cut it into pieces so if you have any questions about this this product feel free to leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them so I went ahead and uh, here I applied all the beads around the piece of shell that I applied to my nails and here you can see my nails changing colors from the heat of my my fingers then I wanted to create a dome over this piece of shell. So for that, I use a builder gel that I have. And this one cures under either UV or LED. So I went ahead and picked up a bead from my builder gel and carefully created the dome. After I used the Builder Gel, I went ahead and cured it for a minute under my LED lamp. I attempted to show you the dome here on camera, but I'm sorry that I don't know why it came out so blurry. But this is after I cured it for a minute. Then I went ahead and used my Tacky Free Gel Top Coat to secure the beads and give it a nice finish. And this, of course, you have to cure for 30 seconds under the LED lamp. After that, I moved on to working on my ring fingernail. I use the Born Pretty plate. The stamping plate is BP21 with Mundo de Uñas Fiji number 61 stamping polish. After I place my stamped and cleaned that up, I went ahead and used the gel top coat again to place all the Swarovski crystals and the little micro beads that I put in between. This design, um, by the way, was totally inspired by Madame Locke. The, um, the shell, creating the, sh the shell like with the Swarovski crystals and micro beads around the nail. When I first time I saw that, I totally fell in love with it and wanted to attempt to recreate it. So I did my best here. Um, but the final little curve, what I like to call the tail of the shell that wraps around more towards the center of the nail. I used a, uh, it's a chain link um, for that. Unfortunately, you will not see me apply that here in the video. I had some technical problems, but you will see the final result when I show you the picture, just as you saw on the thumbnail of the videos. This is the, when I completed placing all the Swarovski crystals and then moved on to doing the, the micro beads that was somewhat of a what a daunting a daunting work um, but then to finish it all up i put some more gel top coat cured it cleaned up and that was the you'll see the final result here at the end so i hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe for more tutorials 
and reviews, and thank you for watching.